Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to install Active Directory and Domain Controller on an Azure VM. And once these roles are installed, I'll show you how to join the client VMs to this new domain. So let's begin. For this demo, I have already created three machines. On this fun first VM, I'm going to install Active Directory and Domain Controller. Then there are two client machines and there are two ways to join a VM to the domain. So there are two ways. So first server I'll be using Azure DNS. Second server I'll be using network adapter IPv4 DNS. So let's log in. The IP address for this VM is ending with 189. I'm already logged in. ADTS and let's check properties this machine is currently part of work group so let's click on add roles click next next server name is selected next i'm selecting active directory domain services so dns it will automatically be installed later but for now let's choose active directory domain services only leave it as it is this might take about two minutes so let's wait okay so it's completed installation succeeded on adds configuration required so let's close this so let's go to the run window so i see a question mark a critical mark on this so ad is installed but i'm yet to install domain controller so I see a flag warning sign here. Let's click on this. Let's click on promote this server to our domain controller. I'm creating a fresh new forest. So let's choose tk.com technology.com. Let's click next. Recovery password. case my server crashes I'll need this password to restore my active directory domain controller NetBIOS name is auto populated you have clicked next these are the directories for your active directory This is going to take about a minute or two. There are some warnings which is fine. Let's click on install. So the step, previous step we just saw, uh, installing DNS. So when you are setting up domain controller, it automatically installs DNS also. So on your left hand side, we don't see DNS, but once this is done, we'll come back to the server manager page, we'll find DNS is also installed. So this must be restarted which is fine. Let's click on close. Okay, in the meantime my machine comes back. I've already shown the three machines to you and all three machines are part of the same network. 
so connected devices this is my active directory domain controller this is my first client this is my second client and every machine has a public ip and a private ip if i am on the same network i can communicate among these three vms with the internal private ip however the public ip is accessible over the internet so this is my domain controller i want this to act as a dns so let me copy the private ip for this vm my virtual network i have dns this is the default option let's go to custom and i am typing in the internal ip of my virtual network this is going to take few seconds so all three machines which are the which are part of the same network for these machines this is a dns server now let's log in Okay, so the server is back online. I can see my Active Directory, and in the server roles, I can see ADDS installed. I can see DSN installed. Now the next step is joining the client VMs to the domain. So let me go ahead and create a domain account. Let's go to the properties. Let's verify. My domain name is tk.com. So my first client, which is already part of the same virtual network, let's copy it. Let me RDP this, this machine. Now this is not a part of domain, so I'm using a local account. Work group. 
so let's click on change settings let's click on change select domain tk.com so it's prompting me for the domain username Welcome to tk.com. Let's click on OK. Restart not required for this demo. So as we can see, client1. The full name is client1.tk.com and I can see the domain name. Okay, this was one of the method. Now let me go back to the Azure portal. Let me change it back to default Azure provided and from this machine I am going to log off. Now I am going to log into the second client 10206. Again, this machine is part of work group, so I'm using the local account. So I'll try it once. It shows work group. So let me see if it allows me to log in to change the domain directly. Click on OK. So it throws an error message. Why? Because earlier it was finding the DNS name from Azure portal, but now I have removed it. So how do we point this machine to the DNS? So the second method, we go to the network settings. This is my network adapter. I go to the properties, IPv4 properties. And in the DNS, I manually type in the DNS for my domain controller 10204. N two zero four. I click on OK. So we are modifying the properties of the Ethernet. So if I was connected to this VM with the external IP, with the public IP, the session would have disconnected. But now, since we are on the same network, the session continues to work as it is. So let me see if it allows me to join to the domain now or do we need to reboot the machine once. Let's click on OK. OK, so a reboot not required. TK user. Welcome to the domain. Perfect. So as you can see client 2 and it is joined to the domain. So in this video we saw how to install Active Directory and Domain Controller on an Azure VM. Then we had two client VMs. 
the first client VM we joined it to the domain uh, by modifying the DNS in the Azure portal and in the second VM we joined the VM to the domain by modifying the DNS in the network adapter properties IPv4 properties so if you found this video useful please like this video and if you have any questions please comment it in the section below thank you so much for watching